Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, Karibu Sana. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys a short vlog of our girls' trip to Meru and Nanyuki. We went to see one of ours who just delivered and we just decided to make this into a girls' trip and I recorded something short for you. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So we left Nakuru at around 5.30 a.m. And can you believe it, guys? At 10.45 a.m., we were in Meru. But before we got to Nanyuki, we stopped by a resort called Jakana's just to get some coffee. So once we got to Meru, we experienced the what you ordered versus what you get scam because the accommodation we booked in real life was not as the one that it was in pictures. So we started looking for an alternative uh, accommodation. But let me tell you, Maina, it was hectic. So we stopped at Kinoru Gardens, had our Kienyeji chicken and ugali before we could continue the search process. Days passes by. Most long for a place that they never find I'm afraid after house hunting for several hours during the day and even contemplating on sleeping in a hotel, we finally found this two bedroom apartment and this is not how we found the house. This is the next morning after we'd already slept in the house and I forgot to like shoot a proper house tour. but trust you me guys, it was so cute. So it was a two-bedroom apartment that came with an extra mattress. And since we were six of us, this was sufficiently enough for all of us. I wake up when I die And it is too late to climb any mountain Time is up the answers The blood running through our core It's best to not feel sorry when it's over So we had arranged for a chef prior to us getting to Meru but by the time we were getting accommodation it was so late and he couldn't make it so I had to think of something really fast that I could cook for everyone so I made pilau, some sauteed potatoes, uh, a salad and we had that with some fruits. <laughs> We have to. And drink water. Huh? We have to for the team. We'll take one for the team. It's a no. For breakfast, I made some toast, sausages, fried some eggs, made like tea, and then we had that with uh, some fruits, salad, and tomatoes. When things don't go to plan, I kind of lose my mind. I hope it's real. This life comes around. Just keep your faith and search for the fountain. Time is of the essence. Running through a cold. I was Yes. 
Once we had finished our breakfast, we went to see our friend who had just delivered and to say hi to the baby. And then once we were done with that, we left for Nanyuki. It's best to not feel sorry when it's over. I will be the greatest that you ever seen before. And I'll say, it's a So we stopped at Lavi's Park in Nanyuki and this was to get lunch and these people are so nice. They let you like taste unlimited amount of meat before you can order. So we ordered for chicken. We also ordered mbuzi and I think maini choma and we had this with ugali and some fries. This was matandiko before sherehe. So in Anyuki we booked this Airbnb. It was a two bedroom house and one of the bedrooms had like a big bed and then the other bedroom had like two small beds. So we joined the two small beds to make like a humongous bed so that three people would sleep there and then in the other bedroom two people slept there because one of us was not joining for this night as she was visiting her sister who lives in Nanyuki. So we showered, changed, and then we wanted to go to a chill spot since it was too early to hit the clubs. It was around 7 p.m. So we went to this place called the Nook. It's so cute. I wish we went here earlier. But if you're coming here, it's not like the club setting. It's just a chill, outdoorsy space. But it looks so good. And be prepared because the prices are not like... Um, Average the prices are hukoju. So if you're coming here, just be prepared to spend. And yeah, we had two, three cocktails and then now we left. It was so much fun over here. I wish we could stay the whole night. But I think they were closing earlier since it's not like a club club. It's just like a bar and restaurant, but they are not open, I think, the whole night. <laughs> At around 11 p.m., we left the nook to go to Moran so that now the Proper Sherehe 2.0 could begin. <laughs> So 
these are the names of the people who are to be in the giveaway so i'm going to cut all the names and then put them in a bowl and select a winner so i have all the names of the people who uh, who entered in the giveaway so so that you see that i'm closing my eyes i'm going to look away so the first winner is uh amy a uh, winner i will show you closer so i'll remove that one then the second one my hand has nothing the second one is this one this is evelyn gishiri so these are the two winners kindly dm me your numbers and your proof that you've subscribed and you're following me on instagram yeah so congratulations evelyn is it evelyn and amy yeah so you've each won 200 shillings also i have noticed that some of the winners who are winning this thing are just following me immediately i tell them that they are the winners so i will be disqualifying you if you just follow me immediately like i've told you like you're the winner of the mini of the giveaway because that that way then you will only follow me because i have given you the money so yeah if you want to be included in the giveaway kindly follow me on instagram prior to me announcing your name otherwise you'll just be <laughs> disqualified i think that's fair so yeah congratulations amy and evelyn so our journey back started at around 11 a.m we were so tired but so grateful our hearts were so full so on our way we stopped by this lady who was selling onions at 30 bob per kg and we thought that was such a steal so we bought so many onions so yeah we have come to the end of the video i hope you enjoyed this one please give it a huge thumbs up if you did comment down below on what you think about it because i'm giving two people 200 shillings for those who comment on my video it can be anything really and please subscribe to my channel when the road to 20,000 subscribers by june 2023 and i know you guys will get me there thank you so much for watching until next time bye guys <laughs>